Hello guys, it's your girl Sandra in Ogie. So guys, today I'll be talking about this saga, this old saga that is going on between Apostle Joseph Sleeman and his ex-pastor's wife. <clears throat> Bravo! You know, years ago, something happened. And it, it, I think it's between uh, Apostle Joseph Sleeman and uh, Stephanie. I don't know what her name is. And so many people claim that that woman is mad. That man is. That woman has no sense that this happened. That's. See, the worst problem in Africa, the worst problem Nigeria has is religion, be it Muslim, be it Christianity, Islam or Christianity, is the worst problem we have. Boko Haram is killing today. They are using Islam to to kill. That, that's how what God sent them. Christianity is doing whatsoever they are doing today, using pastors to curse. Now, let me ask you the question. Some people will say, um, pastors are different. If I, if I are, are different, what's so different between a normal man along the way that is not a pastor or, or a far and, a, and one of our Christ, um, a pastor? What's so different about it? God created everybody the same way. There is no difference between the both of them. Have we not seen a pastor being arrested for sleeping with his daughter? Have we not seen a pastor being arrested for sleeping with an underage uh, girl or raping her? Have we not seen some of far being arrested for sleeping with underage, underage children? So what are you going to say? You are going to say because they are, they are far, they are God sent, so they cannot do it. Excuse me. The same way God created them, so he created you. There's nothing special. I tell people today, you can be, you can be like a pastor. You can be as powerful as any genuine man of God. If you decide to be faithful to God, if you decide to go closer to God, there is nothing special between you and them. You can still have the grace they have. A pastor that cannot decide if you die tomorrow or not. A pastor that cannot decide if you are going to be saved or not. It's only God. Some pastors have made it so bad to the essence of people reverend them more than God. You see some people say, hey, don't talk to don't talk to past don't talk to pastors like that. If you talk to pastors like this, this is going to happen to you. If you say that, how are we going to say about God? Some people today, they can't say anything about God. God, you did this to me. God, I don't want to serve you. God, is... what will happen if we decide to start, if God starts taking action towards us? What are we going to do? Where are we going to hide? People reverend pastors more than the God they are serving. People respect pastors more than the God they are serving. You see some women, instead of them to call their husband's daddy at home. No. They don't get hand inside. They're leaving the husband that paid their bread price. The husband that put them in the house. And the husband that God, in fact, according to the Bible, respect and be submissive to your husband. Never. Some will never be submissive. Some, they prefer to be submissive to their, to their pastors. I read something somewhere and a woman, a woman gave their first car without the husband's consent to their pastor. Okay, fine. The husband found out that okay, no problem. Maybe the pastor do not have car. And second, second time she did the same thing again. The man have to go to the pastor's house and take his car back. And you think God will accept such gift? He will never accept such gift because you are doing it and you are not respecting the man that put you in the house. Let's be truthful here. Some women will kneel down for their pastor, but their husband, they cannot kneel down. Some women, when they want to give their pastor food, they are lying down. They want to lie down. I've seen some pictures, husband, man or woman, they are lying down. So now, let me ask you, if you can do this for a human being, how are you going to do God? What are you going to do? Some pastors have, have forgotten the reason they were caught. Now what they want to do is, is, is put everybody in bondage. You see a pastor say, I, I read it, a pastor saying, hey, if you have two cars or if you have a car, your pastor is striking, you go to heaven, air fire. Who are you? 
Who are you? Did you provide that car for, for him or her? Are you the provider of that car? So somebody will stress and, and, and finish his sofa. And that person will come and donate his car for you because you are a pastor, because you hold that title. Some people now, if they just graduate from secondary, uh, secondary school or university, the next thing, they are opening a church. And one old woman is calling them daddy. Ah! God is going to judge you. God is going to judge you people. You people that are doing it. I wish I, I blame the congregation that will not think that God created you just the way he created that pastor. No different. If, if that's the case, maybe in the Bible would have said, God created heaven and earth created human being and created pastor separately. Maybe that's what you're supposed to say. Or that's what the pastor, that's what the Bible is supposed to say. Pastors do not carry different grace. Pastor carry the same grace as you. If only you come closer to God. If only you know God. If you know God, if you come closer to God tightly, if you hold God tightly, you are going to hear the sequel. If you know God, if you know God so much, you are going to raise, the, if I, you are going to do so many things. We see a pastor, I, I don't know, is it a, what a Bushiri, I don't know. That is even fraud. The government has already caught him in fraud. And some people, I went to his comment section one day, and people say, Daddy, move, carry on. Daddy, God bless you. God, God is with you. Hello. I know it's not in our right to judge anybody, but see, like I said before, the major problem of African, Africans are Christianity and Islam. Religion, we are the major problem. If only we can go back to our roots and know where we, where we got it all wrong, then things will be going well for us. A man cannot just sit down and be frauding people, frauding thousands of people, and you still call him daddy. Ah, ah, we are so brainwashed that we forget the reason why God created us. And now, let me go straight. The woman was crying and saying, the man lied, the man, Madam, your story is irrelevant. Because I believe that man cannot just stay in front of the camera and lie against you. I believe that man cannot just stand, stay in the front of camera and lie against that man, that pastor. That is it. I believe, see, you know, some women can do anything just to be on top of their husbands. Some women can go any further length just to be on top of their husbands. They want to be called, they want to have more influence than their husband. This is who God gave you as your husband. And so many pastors are coming and backing him up. One man, even one pastor, I don't know. And somebody's going to that one church room. Saying anybody that talk bad against against Apostle Joseph Suleiman that is licensed to kill. Kill who? Kill and go to jail. Kill anybody and you think the government is going to say you are fighting for Apostle Joseph Suleiman. Oh, you are going to take a front seat. Kill anybody and go to jail. We are so brainwashed that we forget the reason why God created us. We are so, so, so brainwashed that we forget the reason why God created us. Kill anybody and go to jail. We'll even be pleased to bring food for you. And you think maybe your grace is different from the man's grace? Ah, Africans, where are we going? When, when are we going to start thinking right? When are we going to start thinking the right thing to do? Today we'll complain about bad government. Ah, I see so many people lamenting on bad government. You think today, if all these religions, this religion, clerics, I don't know what they call them, decide to sit down today and really take decisions, you think we'll be suffering? No home. You think if today, this Christian something, something, I don't even know their name, they decide to say, okay, now, we don't want um, this whole issue in Kaduna or now want to put a stop. You think they will not put a stop? You know the funniest part? People are cl complaining about government in Nigeria and some head pastors, what? Is it can? I don't know. Yeah, I think it can. Can yeah. They'll go to this. Uh, they'll go to Buari and take money. Will they tell you that they took money? Sometimes Buari will even give them millions of naira for them to shut up, and they keep quiet. And things are happening. They are keeping quiet. 
and you're there, you're sitting and saying, my pastor, right down, right down. And you think that pastor, that man, ah, oh, shit, some people. So now, what are we going to say about it? Are we going to say that this man is crazy because the man decided to talk about it? We cannot say it. That's what I said about that other lady. That, that lady is a stripper, stuff like that. She has nothing to say. We have a... See, Africans, let's stop. When we know the truth, stand by the truth. Don't say because this man is a pastor, he's a well-known pastor, then I should keep quiet. Or like that man that said uh, he raised the dead. He raised the dead the other day. People have... People have really called the reason why God brought, why God decided to call you. Maybe you won't percent, maybe the true man of God. I don't know, so what I'm not reach for again. I don't know if you guys reach for. Because all what you people care about is money, 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 bring money, bring money, bring money. That's all you care about. You don't care about how your people are suffering. You see some big, big churches. Big churches, there are people are going to that church. And their school fees is even higher than normal school fees. People cannot afford it. Normal people cannot afford it. Poor people cannot afford it. And you sit down and do nothing? Oh, God. Like I said, if we are, rever if we are going to give respect to just a man, of man, man that was created just the way you were created, how are you going to give respect to God? People will say, don't talk to a man of God like that. Talk who are you? Who is the man of God? Did God create the both of you together? Or did God give different commandments? That, oh, God created heaven and earth, and God created the pastors afar. This won't happen. I've been brainwashed. You cannot see the truth and say it. Oh my God. I hope this man, this man do not come tomorrow and say, um, it was all a frame up, a lie, or this after too much threatening i beg nigerians let's wake up the problem we are having that having now is these are our pastors these are fat these are all of them they should all be thrown into jail throw the key away you're giving threats that if a man do not pay tight don't pay off you go to hell did you provide the money for the man were you there when the man was suffering that you make first fruit even compulsory than what God said. You make offering and tithe so compulsory that people can, if people do, if they don't have money, they cannot go to church. We've seen it in the Bible whereby people don't have money, they will come to church and pray. No, in these modern days, if you don't have money and you decide to go to church, if people are going to pay off free and you're sitting there, people look at you as if you're a devil. You are a witch, in fact. But they don't know if you don't have money, you, you've not even eaten today. All what they care about is the money. Is the money, is the money. Well, guys, I'm so disappointed. So if I see people saying, that man cannot do it, that man cannot sleep. What's different between Apostle Johnson Sleeman and a, a normal man that cheats on his wife? Tell me, what's the difference between them? Is it not the same sexual organs they have? What's so different about them? People think think as if they don't remove their brain to wait pan down for with pounded yam don't think well if not a normal man can cheat on his wife anytime what's so different because he has a poster in his name first i beg jerry this is all i have to say i hope you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and click on that notification bell till next time my beautiful people bye bye